In today's video, we are going to learn how to find the gradient of a straight line joining two points and then also we are going to talk about collinear points. Now if you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel, do well to like this video and share this video among your friends. Now let's get into the lesson. Gradient is basically the measure of the steepness of a straight line. What this primarily means is that the bigger the gradient, the steeper the line. Now, given two points lying on a straight line, let's say we have point A with coordinates x1, y1, and then we have point B with coordinates x2, y2. Now, the gradient of the line joining the two points is given by m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now to move from point A to point B, we need to move along the x-axis in this direction and then also upwards along the y-axis. At this point we have x1, x2, y1 and then y2 now y2 minus y1 is basically the change in the vertical distance divided by x2 minus x1 which is the change in the horizontal distance so basically we say y2 minus y1 is the change in y divided by x2 minus x1 that is the change in x now a gradient can be uphill in the direction that is from the left up to the right in that case we say that we have a positive gradient now if the straight line extends from top left down to the right we say that we have a negative gradient and then for the third case if the straight line is parallel to the x-axis then we have a zero gradient now without wasting much time let's solve some examples let's try to find the gradient of a line joining two points Okay, so we have two questions here. We are going to find the gradient of the line joining the two points. Now we know that the gradient of a line is given by m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Now we have x1, y1, we have x2, y2. So we are basically going to substitute these values in this equation now y2 is 2 so we have 2 minus y1 is 3 divided by x2 is 9 minus x1 which is 5 so we have 2 minus 3 which is negative 1 divided by 9 minus 5 which is 4 so we have the gradient to be negative 1 over 4 for the second one, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. We know that m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is 5. We have 5 minus y1, which is 7, divided by x2 is negative 3. And then we have minus 2. Now 5 minus 7 is negative 2. And then negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So we have the gradient to be 2 over 5. Notice that here we have a negative gradient. And 
and then here we have a positive gradient so for a negative gradient the straight line is downhill in direction from the left to the right and then for a positive gradient the straight line is uphill from the left to the right so now let's talk about collinear points three or more points are said to be collinear if they lie on the same straight line so given three or more points lying on the same straight line the gradient between any two pairs of points will be equal and thus these points will be described as collinear points now let's solve an example to explain what we mean by collinear points now given three points say a b and c let's assume that a is 3 2 point b is 5 3 and then point c is negative 5 negative 2 now basically what we are going to do is we are going to find the gradient of the line joining the point a and b and afterwards we are going to find the gradient of the line joining the point b c now if the gradient of the line joining point a b is the same as the gradient of the line joining the point bc then it means that these three points are collinear so let's try this together we are going to find the gradient of the line joining the points a and b we know that the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so considering a and b y2 is 3 y1 is 2 and then x2 is 5 and x1 is 3 now 3 minus 2 is 1 and then 5 minus 3 is 2 so we have the gradient of the line joining the point a b to be 1 over 2 now let's find that of b c so we have m b c equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 y2 is negative 2 y1 is 3 x2 is negative 5 and then x1 is 5 so what this primarily means is that for a and b x2 y2 is for point b x1 y1 is for point a now for b and c point c becomes x2 y2 and then point b becomes x1 y1 so that is exactly what we've done here now negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 and then negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10 so this reduces to 1 over 2 now since the gradient of the line joining a b is equal to the gradient of the line joining BC it follows that these three points are collinear now let's solve another example so for the second example we are going to check whether these three points are collinear or not now let's find the gradient of the line joining X and Y so we have M X Y equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 y2 is negative 6 y1 is negative 4 so we have negative 4 x2 is 2 and then x1 is 3 so we have negative 6 plus 4 divided by 2 minus 3 negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2 and then 2 minus 3 is negative 1 so we have the gradient to be 2 that is the gradient of the line joining x and y now let's solve for the gradient of the line joining y and then z so we have m y z equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 y2 is negative 5 y1 is negative 6 
x2 is 1 x1 is 2 so we have negative 5 plus 6 divided by 1 minus 2 negative 5 plus 6 is 1 1 minus 2 is negative 1 so we have the gradient of the line joining y and z to be negative 1 now since the gradient of the line joining x y is not equal to the gradient of the line joining y z it follows that these three points are not collinear so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye